even though he implicitly doesn't have love for me because I wasn't born in the 80s. But Calvin is uh, working on, with uh, Kylie on a new album. Very impressive well indeed. Done. Up next, the man who likes things dark, but that's only because if you turn the lights on, you might mistake him for the third proclaimer. I thought the third proclaimer was an urban myth. More real than you could possibly imagine, Lauren. He walks among us. Glaswegian award-winning and gregarious has been called the finest Scottish comic of his generation. You can find him on stage, on television, and now he's in our studio. It's Frankie Boyle, everyone. Frankie, hello and welcome. Hello, Steve. You know, just when you thought it was safe to go out again, those proclaimers, yeah. the bastards, get a number one. <laughs> How have people been congratulating you all week? Well, you may scoff. Uh, no but, scoffing, I'm a big fan. Well, thanks, thanks to the proclaimers, I do get to shag their groupies. <laughs> <laughs> and let me Woo! tell you, the Reed Brothers groupies are rough but willing. <laughs> I am up to my nuts in grade D muff. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful way to kick off the interview. Yeah. This is going to be fun. <laughs> no, actually, it's, it's so bad in Glasgow, people shouting proclaimers, that half the year I have a beard. But then the beard gets to a certain length and people start shouting, paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Why do paedophiles always have beards and glasses? What is it about that look that children find so oh sexy? <laughs> <laughs> this is a show to say that stuff on. Go for it, bring yeah. it on. Lauren, let's get the ball rolling. As, as well as, obviously, Glasgow, Edinburgh, the, the big cities here, do you, do you kind of ever go out into the, the smaller towns of Scotland? Oh, to, yeah, to it's be... absolutely terrifying. It really is. <laughs> You know, there's towns like um, Bathgate. You ever know, been in Bathgate? <laughs> Basically, scientists so like... have discovered cave paintings in Bathgate <laughs> that date back to the 1960s. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the whole reason people in Scotland moved inland, you know, to towns like Falkirk and Bathgate and Motherwell and stuff. Yeah. Don't applaud, it's a shithole. Look at the face! Look at the face! <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole reason people moved inland was to get away from the Vikings, because we'd been pillaged on the coast, so people moved to towns like Bathgate to avoid being raped. <laughs> what a fucking irony. <laughs> well, who would you say are the, uh, the best audiences, the ones easiest uh, to make laugh? England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales? Well, sort of Scottish people are just more sort of relaxed about everything and laughing and... Yeah, I mean, mm. you know yeah. the whole thing, like, Scotland's like the, the world epicentre of global warming? <laughs> and we don't even care. Because <laughs> it means that we get to sit in our mountains and watch the fucking English drown. <laughs> A genuinely funny heckle because I would have thought like as a comic that would be the worst thing if someone like did something really good and you just like, oh, they shit, never you know. do though they're rubbish yeah. you know the only really funny thing I ever heard was um there was a friend of mine did a show at the Edinburgh Festival that was in a wee downstairs room uh, underneath a pub and it, it just completely died for the whole show and in the middle of the show someone shouted out I remember when there used to be a pool table in here <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit well-dressed for a comedian. He Most comedians that. dress really funny, you know? Yeah, you're basically... You're too nice for a comedian. Comedians are sort of semi-autistic. Yeah. So we just, like, we go out and sort of make people laugh and then pretty much go home and curl up in a ball in a cold shower and yeah. have two hours of crippling self-doubt. Yeah. <laughs> you look absolutely wonderful and you've been a yeah. fantastic guest, such great fun. Frankie Boyle, everyone! <laughs> Thinking about it. Macy, we're about to go into a piece about groupies.